Alpacas. We're kind of with Alpacas. I'm Sarah and this is my husband James. Hi. What we're going to try and do over the next few minutes is just give you a bit of a flavour for who we are, why we exist. Obviously you're going to get to meet the Alpacas um, and we're just going to try and give you a bit of a chance to to get to know us a little bit better and see what we could do for you in terms of your wedding or your event. So Candleford Alpacas started after our wedding, which was last year. We had an outdoor wedding. Um, so we've been through the process of trying to find suppliers, trying to get everything to work, get everybody there on the day, all the timings, and work something out that will keep your guests entertained while maybe you're having the formalities done or you know works with your venue. Um, so <laughs> hopefully these guys class as something that would be entertaining. So right in front of the camera at the moment, you've got our two young boys. We might as well do introductions while they're in the way. So the white one is Sam and the brown one is Pippin. They're both one year old, just over one year old. Um, and they're our babies. They're going through their training at the moment to get them used to being handled by people, used to being able to walk. The other three that you'll see milling around, they're our two-year-olds. Um, Kangaroo is coming up front now. <laughs> um, they're three brothers. They've, they're have they used to trekking, they've been out and about. And if you've seen us, or if you do start to follow us on things like Instagram or Facebook, um, you'll, you'll see some of the photos that we've done at recent photo shoots and things. So what James is going to do um, now is we've got a few questions that we think will help you start to understand us and start to understand what we can do for you. So we're going to run a little bit of an informal Q&A. Why would you want alpacas at your wedding? Okay, so you're probably going to get this question from some of your relatives who are used to a more traditional event. We certainly did when we looked at different options for our wedding. For us, we find them completely fascinating. They've got really individual characters. Um, they're, you know, they're quite happy around noises and that kind of thing, so they settle quite well. And the packages that we've put together, we think they'll give you a chance to get to know the alpacas a bit better. It'll give your guests something you know, they, to keep them entertained, particularly if you've got kids at the event, um, because they're, they're something a bit different. They're really soft, they're quite quirky. And they're just that bit of extra entertainment factor for you. Are alpacas allowed in church? No, we, we don't bring our alpacas into church for two reasons. One, not a lot of churches really like animals in there. Um, some will let you have dogs in, but that seems to be a bigger thing in the States than it is in the UK. Secondly, they're quite big animals. So trying to get something like Clooney and one of the others, because we tend to bring them in pairs, down the aisle when you've got all your flowers and things, it's probably a little bit risky. Will our venue let us have alpacas? Some venues might, some venues might be a little bit more cautious. What we can do though is when you know what your venue is going to be, uh, we can work with them to make sure they understand you know, what we're bringing with us, uh, what, what they are. Um, and we can also go through all the boring stuff like any risk assessments or insurance paperwork that they want in place. So don't assume they won't. You can always ask. Behind us is Curly Whirly. This is another one of the, oh, there he goes, <laughs> wedding friendly alpacas. <laughs> he was in a photo shoot last weekend. What kind of packages do you offer? So we've put together three different kind of menu packages, treat them as sort of a starting point. Um, so the basic one, you could have two of these guys um, in a petting area for your guests, just to meet them, just to hand feed them. Um, as a little bit of entertainment, maybe while you're off doing something formal or, you know, just for the early hours of your reception. Second package we've got is where you would have two of them and they would come, they could be on their head collars to meet and greet your guests. Um, and then if you wanted, they could be involved in either your photography or in the, the wedding party photography, just as something a little bit extra. The third package is basically a combination of the two. And like I said, all these packages are in our brochure, so you don't need to remember it all now. But with any of them, treat them like a starting point. If because of your venue you need something different, let us know. 
if you want head colours to be colour matched to your scheme, let us know. Get in touch. We can talk about all these kinds of things. <laughs> You're really not supposed to be eating the straw. I'm not sure if we've introduced this one. This is Clooney. He's one of the ones who's, who might be at your wedding. He's quite a character. <laughs> can I decorate the alpacas? Yes, definitely. So we'll pop some photos up um, on our Instagram page. We've just done a photo shoot with uh, two of these guys and they had flower garlands around their necks. So talk to us about what it is you'd want. We can practice beforehand so that they're comfortable with it on the day. But basically, yeah, you can. Do alpacas spit? They do occasionally. I, I can't deny that one. Um, it tends to be more when we're feeding them. As, kind of, as a hierarchy thing just to tell the younger ones or the lower ranking ones to back off this is my food we wouldn't expect them to be spitting a lot at an event though because there's just not that much feed and also they're not llamas llamas spit for fun what is the difference between alpaca and a llama okay so we've got these guys in front of us if we compare them to a llama a llama's probably about a third again bigger um, they're a little bit more attitude with them. If you look at the ears on a llama, they'll be slightly more like a banana shape. Um, and there's a difference in the feet. So these guys, weird fact for you, they have pads like dogs and then two toenails. Llamas have more of a hoof style foot, a bit more like a sheep. Which alpacas can I choose? So what we'll try and do um, is put them in pairs. But pretty much any of the guys you see them wandering around in this video, um, they, they would be able to come. One of the things that we're going to start and do is because we know that you don't come across alpacas every day, we're going to put a little package together where you can come and meet them, you and your partner maybe, make sure that you're happy around them, make sure you're comfortable handling them before you book them for your big day. That would mean that you'd get to meet them all, it'd probably help you choose which ones you'd like to have at your event, and you never know, we might even get some cake at the same time. Do alpacas bite? So normally alpacas don't bite. Um, you know, obviously if you put your finger in the middle of a carrot, you might get a little bit of a nip, but they're very placid creatures normally. What can we feed the alpacas? So uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, someone like Pip, who's posing quite nicely for you, um, they have hay, they have grass, they have hard feed. What we'd do for you guys, um, if you had them at your event is we'd put little packs together uh, with some apples and some carrots in. Um, they really like carrots, they'll do pretty much anything for those so they're a good one for different people to be able to come up and meet them. Can we ride them? <laughs> no. That, that one's a simple one, no. They, we, get, we get asked it a lot. We do get asked that question a lot but you can't ride alpacas. Um, so they've been bred for their fleece. Um, and for grazing so no unfortunately they're just they're just not strong enough thank you for watching hopefully it's answered some of your questions about alpacas if you've got any questions or if you're just curious about alpacas just drop us a message and one of us will get back to you as soon as we can thanks thanks bye. take care bye